From time to time, we're going to bring you a little film where someone shows us a place they feel most at peace, most at home, their sacred space. We begin with our super soul friend and yoga expert, Sean Korn, who finds peace nestled in nature on 14 acres of land in Southern California. Hi, I'm Sean Korn, and I want to welcome you to my sacred space. This is my yurt. We built the yurt as a, as a temporary structure to be able to practice yoga, to meditate, to uh, get very quiet. I come here just to sleep, <laughs> and I sleep well up here, because there's no phone, there's no TV, We've got a ton of books. To be disconnected from technology is an absolute relief. So I come up here just to cleanse myself of all that energy. A yurt is very interesting because when it's, del it's delivered in a kit and it's all compressed like an accordion and then it opens up, then these slats go in for the ceiling and after that the, the canvas gets laid on top and then stretched really tight. I'm honored that I get to work with this land to be a part of it. When you look off the deck of this yurt, you will see the Pacific Ocean from Malibu all the way to the coastline of Santa Monica all of Los Angeles, and on a good day, you can see the mountains and their snow caps. From the moment I walked onto this land, I just felt so connected to nature, and then therefore, for me, to God. Um, I mean, there's so much creation here, pure creation, from the brush to the animals, to the wind, to the ocean. I feel so incredibly fortunate that I get to have a secluded environment that is sacred, that is meaningful to me. We can forget what's truly important and finding sacred space allows us just to stop, recharge, reconnect. I have been practicing yoga for 26 years. I have been teaching yoga for 19 years. I travel the world 250 days out of the year to teach. What I realize when I get up here is how being by myself is vitally important. Being alone forces me to have to take a really good, long, hard look at myself and some of the choices that I've made. We forget simply to stop and to breathe, and just simply doing that is a sacred act. Those are the, the moments that I treasure. Building a yurt was just, a, it's like my, it's like the idea of creating a temple. When I come up here, all of a sudden I can take a deep breath and when I release the tension, I feel more vulnerable. When I feel more vulnerable, I'm more apt to surrender. And when I surrender, I'm certainly in the presence of God.